Pancake time! Come on, everybody. <laughs> Colleen's been working her tail off. Yep. Look at all these pancakes you made. Look, there's the twit pancake. <laughs> this is fun, because this is me. That's supposed to be me. <laughs> that is as good a portrait as Bill took. <laughs> Not. You can kind of see some features in there, though. You got, you know, there's some nose and mouth. I want to eat this so bad. I really do. Um, so this is the Pancake Bot. And joining us right now, the creator of the Pancake Bot, Miguel Valenzuela. He's on Skype. He lives just out of Oslo in Norway. Hi, Miguel. How you doing? Thanks for having me on the show today. This is a very professional product right now. At this point, we're talking like serious stuff. But I understand your prototype was not quite so elaborate. Well, it, it was elaborate to me and my kids, actually. <laughs> but the um, the prototype was originally made out of Legos, ninety uh, percent Legos and one percent ketchup bottles. And, um, <laughs> this is your my, daughter. Uh, you built this because she daughter, said, Maya. "Daddy, build a pancake bot with Lego." Actually, that was Maya. She was one and a half. Lily, who could act, who talked at the time, was three and a half. Oh, okay. She's the one who inspired the whole thing. But yeah, that that's the first uh, version, or actually iteration number thirteen, right there. After wow. six months of, and about twenty liters of uh, pancake batter. Um, who ate all the pancakes you made on your bot? Um, I did, and my daughters and my <laughs> wife. <laughs> and did you learn a lot about the ins and outs of uh, pancake making? Oh, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, there's so many variables with um, pancake batter and cooking. There's uh, viscosity and the amount of time it takes. Uh, normal pancake artists, when they draw with pancake batter, they use time and heat to be able to um, create contrast because of the uh, the color changes with the um, caramelization. So the longer of the sugar. it cooks, the lo the darker it's going to be. So you can actually get shading in. Look, this is we're building. What is this? The skyline? That's so awesome. Now, where nice. do you get where do where do we get the patterns from? How does this work? Do we do this from a phone? Well, or? well the um, we currently right now you can take a picture and actually um, with the software that we just put out no. there and actually um, do an auto trace on it. So, um, you Bill, can do I've auto got traces. an idea for your next Instagram, <laughs> Wadman Pancake Three Sixty Five. Exactly. Oh, this, this is and awesome. then, um, but uh, on PancakeBot.com, we have a um, a user group or a, a group for pancake bot users they can go online and they can upload their pre-made designs and uh, share them with the community and they can share recipes and troubleshooting and you know whatever it is that they have hints and tips you know so there's a lot of things that you can uh, share with um, uh, fellow people on pancake bot the cool thing is it's not just for pancakes though once you start switching out other things with you know uh, instead of pancake batter whether it's um uh, different types of uh, uh, you can do anything with um, you know like has a batter consistency uh, you can use in the pancake bot and you can start doing you know a lot of different things with it so it's pretty fun like ketchup could you use this to like put ketchup on a sandwich or something yeah and that's you can do it with ketchup I've, I've done like avocado puree with um, sour cream in there and we would uh, deck we would actually get a plate and we would put it down and we decorate the plate so that way we wanted to create like a um, like a little plate with uh, designs on it we'd pop a big burrito on there and, and uh, serve it to friends and stuff and then uh, you can design you can you know, put colored syrup or whatever on top of the pancake bot after you put make the pancake. And so um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So the, the pancake bot itself is exciting enough, but this also can teach people engineering, coding. Talk a little bit about that. Oh, well, the cool thing about this is that when working, uh, the company that uh, we put this together with is a Storebound, they're a manufacturer, and I told them that if we were going to be working together, we really needed to make this as open as possible. And of course, um, you know, from a manufacturing standpoint, we it's uh, hard for people to get injection molding plans out there. So um, we want to make sure at least the hardware and the software is open. So the software is open source, uh, written JavaScript by James Todd. He's nice. uh, uh, maker um, out uh, based out of Sacramento, and then the machine actually is um, has open source uh, components and stuff like that, and it just uses G code too, so that way um, you don't have to have a proprietary 
a piece of software or, or files to read for it. So you can go in there and code your own G code. Um, you can create your own algorithms with Python to create spirals or wow. fractals or whatever you want. Um, and then if you want to hack it, there was a, um, a, a place in uh, Canada actually that they took the pancake bot and they put a Hall effect sensor on it and they were using it to scan um, pieces of metal pipe to be able to measure the density um, uh, with the magnetic flux changes. So it's a simple CNC machine um, that you can use and uh, you, know, you hack it for whatever you want to do and still make pancakes. So I can't tell you how mesmerizing it is to watch this <laughs> thing print yeah. this stuff. It's really, the, I mean, the, uh, the thing is, this is watching the pancakes being made, man. This is a new thing <laughs> for me. Is this pretty much like well, a 3D really, plotter? Is that kind of the same idea? I, well, you know, it kind of is because, I mean, you're basically putting layers down. There is no Z-axis for it right. except for um, the layers that you can put on there. Right. Um, but the, uh, the the cool thing is is that you can um, – we're, we're developing a um, curriculum that – People are going to be able to, students are going to be able to use in different schools uh, for different levels. Um, so that way they can uh, learn about programming and mechanical engineering and also um, electrical engineering and making pancakes. And uh, there's a company um, in San Diego that uh, actually uh, copied our trademark. Um, was it uh, Pancakeology? Ah. And uh, it's a maker space in San Diego there, and it's a maker place. And so we're going to work with them to use pancakeology, the science of pancakes, to teach kids about, you know, the different recipes that you can have. And the cool thing, to, another cool thing, is that you have a 3D print or a print, that's, you know, that prints out in five minutes or something like that. You get to see your results, and you get to eat them too. Bill, get so your, get really your camera and take a portrait of <laughs> Megan with her screensavers <laughs> on a tray. That is, that's the oh, best that's picture. So great. That is so awesome. That you know, is so that is awesome. awesome. You know, this week yeah. Google announced that uh, they've developed AI that can sketch like a human being. So I think that might be the next step that you get, you know, some AI in here and just AI see what pancake happens. AI pancake bot. That's, just just yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, hey, pancake bot, draw dinosaur pancake. Oh, man. Can it do is that? It moving? No, oh, oh, you guys got you guys got version 2.0. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Okay, you you guys need the AI version for that. Oh, I so. do that. Operated that awesome. pancakes. Yeah. Picked a bad day to skip King lunch. I gotta tell so. you, I'm dying here. This looks so good. <laughs> the, we are just using traditional Krusty's pancake mix here. This isn't anything fancy. Wait a minute. Cut. Was this Colleen's idea to make this one, Jerry? <laughs> that is. No. That is. That is what? funny. Oh, that's the thumbs up. The other one is the yeah. The other one's the uh, I like. Or it I could like be a it. thumbs down if ness if need be. It took them a little. <laughs> they've been making pancakes all week here, which by the way has made the studio smell phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we were um, in 2014. We got to go to the White House Maker Fair and uh, make pancakes at the White House for President we Obama. In, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Did and, you? Uh, we were smell the whole house. The White House smelled like pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> As it should. Did you use whole wheat flour for Michelle? Oh. Uh, uh, we we did whatever we were supposed to do. So I mean, <laughs> the it's Secret all, Service you know, instructed you. I Secret think, exactly Service so classified information <laughs> on that. Flyer. But um, uh, we should I help you here? It's a versatile machine that you know if you want to use it for cafes or if you want to use it for, you know, hotels or or something to that effect and anywhere that you want to really create an experience for people, um, you can use the pancake bot there. And uh, we have people using it for their after-school programs, for the scouts, for uh, different things, to fundraisers. Um, there's a professor from Minnesota that uh, created Tessellation, uh, an extension for his Tessellation software. So we created Tessellation pancakes, actually, oh, um, that are I want to do MC Escher inspired. <gasps> Look at and, that. Uh, yeah, this is so cool. Fractals, too. How much is so. the pancake bot? It retails for two ninety nine, well, and if bad. you're an educator, if you're an educator or a school, um, we do have an education discount for you. And uh, we're always working on videos to how to videos and different ideas and um, that kind of thing. And I'm always busting out pancakes for the kids over here at my daughter's school. I bet. And you know, unlike an inkjet printer, the consumables, and I mean consumables for this, are very inexpensive, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can eat them later. This exactly. Is, this you can is eat your really mistake. Too. Yeah, it's just pancake <laughs> batter. Nothing special. Nope. You don't have to buy special pancake bot pancake batter or anything like that. Wow. No, and you can make your own pancake um, batter um, from scratch. We got a great recipe in there. And, uh, yeah, we were lazy. It, we used a mix. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Hey, hey, no problem. No problem. So, <laughs> Miguel, great, this is though. so cool. Friends. I know. Look at that. That's the that's the the skyline of New York City. See the Statue of Liberty right there? You could just eat her torch. <laughs> torch <with laughs> Take the torch right off. Really neat. Miguel, it was great to talk to you. I've been, you know, watching some of, I think, I like people I follow on Instagram have bought these. I'm sure I Justine has one. And it's just, it's really fun. And now to see it actually at work. And I love this. I think we, I think we need to buy this so we can have, what are you doing now? Are you spelling the new screensavers? I'm trying, yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. Somebody said, what, you could do chocolate if you had like a cold, oh, instead of a hot yes. plate, you had a cold plate, you could make chocolate. Yeah, I've, ex mm -hmm. I've experimented with chocolate and um, you can get that warm chocolate that you, um, that, that, you, that you put in the microwave or something like that or put it in hot water. And uh, you, can, you can get a pretty good burst out of there. It cools down pretty uh, quickly, but um, you can do some chocolate in there. And like I said, we've done, uh, like if you're a cook or a chef at a restaurant, you can use it to decorate some, the plate and put food on top of that. So wow. imagine if you're eating like sushi and you want to put down like a nice wasabi fractal or something like that. You could you could do a little wasabi puree or something and, and lay it down in, in a pattern or whatever. So there's so many things that you can do with it, not just, you know, making pancakes. And um, that's really, this is kind of like a, the first, it's really the first consumer food printer out there. Yes. And uh you know, it's uh, it's it's fun. So we hope it's really a success. I think you you're on the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, my God, you're going to be the pancake bot mogul here. <laughs> yeah. What ideas do your daughters have next? Yeah. Oh, well, those are all top secret. Okay. <laughs> Make sure that they write them all in books. But, you know, actually, my my daughters actually are really want to do something. You know, to help a lot of the kids out there and stuff. That um, whether they're um. Uh, whether they have financial problems Aww. or whether they're in different countries with different uh, economic or social problems. My kids have traveled around with me with the pancake Aww. bot you know, all over the world. And so they see a lot of these things happening. They see the news and they dad, dad, what can we do with pancake bot? Or what can I do to invent to, to help these kids out? So they really have their, uh, uh, that's a nice pancake there. So <laughs> can I eat my own good. head? Is that allowed? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> It's amazing that you're giving discounts to schools. I mean, that that's, that's really is a cool. great way yeah. to teach STEM. I mean, that's yeah. you, you tell them they're already helping. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we I, I I totally love the whole STEAM concept of adding the art in there, mm. and you know, then you uh, yeah. It's um, I I would really like to kind of do like a Renaissance kid because Renaissance people they just kind of knew everything. They were like jackets of all trades, and if we just have Renaissance kids that can like do everything: love science, that. technology, engineer, art, math cooking whatever it is it just it'd be so much fun but uh it, it's a it's a great product so I'm, I'm really happy that we've gone this far and storebound our manufacturer has been fantastic um, i work with uh, evan dash there the ceo and and slim garanza from uh, it's, uh the uh, project manager and these guys have been doing a fantastic job with helping us uh, get this thing to market so it's great is it pancakebot.com yes sir pancakebot.com <laughs> I, I, I love it. I think it's so amazing. It makes me shout, Pancake Bot, Pancake Bot. Pancake Bot! I've been shouting it all week in joy. <laughs> well, I got I, I to gotta say that uh, there's a, um, you, you've probably heard of Evil Mad Scientists. There are these, um, uh, this team, a uh, husband and wife team, they're based out of Sunnyvale. They came up with the Egg Bot. And uh, they were really my inspiration for um, calling it a pancake bot. So they're 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 uh, professional makers and um, they're wonderful people. And so they're uh, yep, there you go. So um, they're Just in time uh, for get a shout out to actually. them for yeah. for inspiring me yeah. to be able to uh, do this thing. Yes. So and uh, and a shout out to the maker community and the maker fair that uh, these kind of things really inspire us to get things out there and and pursue you know these kind of things. So I agree. It's really yeah. neat. Well, so nice to meet you, Miguel. Congratulations on your success. This is a wonderful product. Miguel Valenzuela, PancakeBot.com. Let's eat! <laughs> Thank have, you very much, and have a wonderful uh, day there. And Thank you, Miguel. See you later.